There's an equation in OCRA A-level chemistry that people forget about all the time, and it relates to this. So to make sure you don't miss out on this essential part of your A-level, keep watching this video. You'll find the equation I'm talking about in module five of the OCRA specification in A-level chemistry in the how fast topic, specifically when we're looking at concentration time graphs. Now in these graphs, what we can look at is something called the half-life. The half-life is the time taken for the concentration of a reactant to decrease by a half. Now, if we were to look at two separate half-life values for the same graph, looking at the same reactant in the same reaction, and we can see that those half-life values are constant, meaning they're the same as each other, then it means we're able to make a few conclusions. The conclusion we're able to make here that's the most important is if I can prove that the time taken to go from two to one mole per decimeter cubed and then one to a half mole per decimeter cubed is the same, I can say that that reactant is first order and the reaction is first order as well. That allows me then to write a rate equation for the chemical reaction. So after concluding that my half-life values are constant and that my reactant is going to be first order and my reaction is first order, I've written up this rate equation. This rate equation has got rate equals K times a concentration of B. And since my rate equation contains only one reactant and that reactant is first order, and the overall reaction order is the sum of the individual reactant orders, then I'm able to say that this reaction is a first order reaction containing a single first order reactant. So is this the mystery equation I'm saying you need to learn? Of course not, this is just the rate equation. But what we do next is the bit that people forget about. Now that we know that our reaction is first order and we know that we've got a constant half-life value, we're gonna put all this information together to calculate a value of the rate constant K. The way we do this is by doing ln of two, so that's ln or ln natural log, however you wanna describe that, divided by the half-life value. That constant half-life value that we got from the graph, this only works if the reaction is first order. So please be very careful about how you throw this around but by doing this, we get a value of the rate constant K. So it's an alternative way of calculating that value. There are loads of different ways of calculating the rate constant K in A-level chemistry, and this is just one more. They're all about context, and if you wanna see this one in action, then check out my walkthrough of the 2021 paper three on the OCRA A-level in chemistry, that's your unified chemistry exam, where I use this in one of the longer answer questions about rate of reaction.